Hi everyone, um, I'm going to have a go at dyeing some wood today. Um, you can probably hear in the background that I've got the uh, vacuum chamber running. I've got another piece of this that is going to be done just naturally. So I'm just um, putting the resin into it now, well vacuuming the air out of it now to get the, the resin into it later on uh, and do that a bit natural. But what I want to do with this one is dye it with a, with a colour. Now, I've got some an order come through from House of Resin uh, yesterday with a couple of different colours. So I've got a bright yellow and a fireball red. Uh, and what I'm going to do is add that to the cactus juice, cactus juice that I've got left. So I haven't got a great deal left. I need to get another order in for that. Uh, so I don't. It's, I've never done a colouring before, so I'm not entirely sure the full process. But I've got this fireball red. I just need to add that to my uh, cactus juice, make sure that I've put plenty in, get a nice colour from what I understand, don't be shy with the, the amount of dye that you're using. It is possible to do like a double dyeing cut where you put uh, one colour in uh, into a tub, put the wood into it, just let it soak, then bake it, clean it off and then you put it into a, another colour and put it into the vacuum chamber. I'm not going to bother doing that with this particular one, all I'm going to do is do it with one colour. So I'm just going to do it with the fireball red. So first of all I'm going to mix it up. I think that looks enough. Give it a shake, see what it turns out like. We'll try it because if it don't work I'll just add some more dye to another one. Got to practice with them. So, the piece of wood that I've got, it's a very, very light piece of wood. It's quite punky. If I actually tried using this as a knife handle or for anything, it, it wouldn't work. And if I just put resin into it as it is to try and make a block up, it'll just start breaking down a bit. It'll make the... Um, resin that you put into it can start clouding that up if you wanted a clear one. So what I'm going to do first is weigh it, see how much it is. So that's 61.3 grams. So what I'll do, once I've um, put the resin, soaked it, put it in the vacuum chamber, got the resin to go into it uh, and baked it, I'll re-weigh it and then we we'll can see how much of the resin it's taken on. So first job, put it into a tub, so just a plastic tub and then put the weight on top of it. So first thing I'm going to do, just place it into a plastic tub. I've got a, a weight to put on top of it, stop it from floating. And then what I'm going to do is add the cactus juice to it for it to start soaking in. Just hope I've got enough. So it only just covers it. What I might need to do is just put it into a smaller tub just so I've got plenty of room above the block so when it does expel all the air and draw in all the resin, the, the resin level will go down and the last thing I want it to do is go down below the level of the block. So I'm going to leave that for the time being. I've already got something running in the vacuum chamber so I've got to wait for that to finish off completely. Once that's done I will take that out, swap that over onto my uh, heat treating oven or put that into my little toaster oven and then what I'll do is I'll put this into the vacuum chamber, make sure that I've got all the air out of it uh, and then draw the resin into this and then this will be ready for baking. So I've got the block out of my pressure pot. Just going to get rid of the weight. Just wipe that down a bit. Right, the block's out. Let's see how it turns out. There we go. Yeah, that's not too bad. Get rid of the excess. 
Now usually, if I've just got a normal block, I'll wrap it up in tin foil and then put it in the oven. But from what I understand, you don't need to wrap it up in tin foil. Uh, it's just to help the um, resin from escaping from it. So what I'm going to do, like I say, just get rid of this excess. Uh, I've got a bit of wire on top of a tray, so I'm just going to leave it on that. So any bleed out from the wood, it'll just drip straight into the tray so it's not uh, cause a problem in the oven. And I'll get that into the oven and I'll get that baked. Right, I've just taken it out of the oven now. Uh, you can see there's been a, a bit of bleed out of the resin. But it don't look too bad. It's got the patterning in there. So we may weighed it beforehand. Switch my scales on. Right, it is now 135.1 grams. So you can tell that it's, it's gained a bit of weight there, so the resin's gone into it. Uh, just as a comparison, so both the same kind of wood. That one's been undyed, and that's just plain as it is. And then that one's with the obviously with the dye added to it. So what I'll do, just to finish off with, I'll sand them both sides down, so it, just to clean them up a bit, just so it gives you a better idea uh, of how they turn out. These will get turned into a couple of um, resin, uh, well, wooden resin blocks. I'll cut that one down so I'll make two out of that one. I'll probably have to take the top bit off that one so I'll probably use that top bit for something else. Uh, but yeah, I'm quite happy with those. Do you see how they come out in a block now? Right, thank you very much for watching everybody. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. If you need to get in touch with us, just email us or put a comment below and I'll get back in touch with you. Thank you very much. I'll see you later.